So you were just having diarrhea and no sickness? No, there was no diarrhea. Now, no diarrhea. Now it started a little bit. A little that's bit. Good. Okay. Sorry. And I think it was the fish because right after I eat the fish, I got itching in my throat. And if you're out here long, long enough, sooner or later we all have to deal with one thing, illness. Whether you, me, or someone on a boat nearby, it happens. Today was Alcino's turn, and of course it's quite a different predicament when you're miles and miles and miles away from the nearest help. But lucky for us, we were in the rally with 40 other boats, some of which just happened to have a good collection of nurses and doctors that all came over to help figure out what the problem was. We didn't know if it was food poisoning or a stomach bug or maybe even a mosquito-borne virus like dengue. He had quite a myriad of symptoms, including aches and pains everywhere, and he just couldn't move, had no strength at all. But at the end of the day, all agreed that all we could do was give him some painkillers and let the poor guy sleep it off. So that's what we did. And as they always say that all good things must come to an end, so must our time with Rick and Lisa on board. It's been great hanging out with Rick again. He's been a top patron on our channel for over two years and a fellow drone enthusiast. And this time he brought down his wife Lisa, so it was great to meet her and we're gonna miss you guys. But then as they also say, when one door closes, another door opens. And today on this very same beach coming in on the next ferry is gonna be our new crew, Valentina. Valentina was born and raised in Italy and is fluent in five different languages. She's lived and worked in six countries, including Switzerland and Philippines, where she worked with United Nations. She took a break from work to do a six-month tour of Central America, and we connected while she was staying at a hostel here in Panama. She had never sailed before, so signed up for two weeks on Sophisticated Lady, which somehow turned into three months. So I guess you could say, yes, we had some fun. So I hope you'll help me extend a warm welcome to our newest crew on SSL, Valentina. Valentina. <laughs> you made it, how are you? I'm good, how are you? So Valentina's here, safe and sound, and we are on approach to Cocos Bandero. Looks beautiful. Check this out. Yeah, from what we've heard, Cocos Bandera is supposed to be beautiful and we have some perfect weather coming up the next few days. Three, four days of calm weather, calm winds and seas dying down. So we should be able to get some great shots here, some beautiful watercolor. Almost there, we're just watching the charts now, make sure we clear any reefs on the way in. But it looks like we gotta go around the south side of that one main island, so we gotta go all the way around and then up from the inside and come back in. And hopefully we'll find a place to anchor in amongst all these other boats over here.
And we made it, Coco Bandaro. That. <laughs> what do you think, horrible first stop? Terrible, could be worse. I know, and you know, I'm gonna keep, keep bringing you to shitty places like this. I mean, is there a chance to, I don't know, like end up somewhere grayer, sadder, more depressing, a little bit, so that, you know, you feel that's real life? We could try. <laughs> I imagine it's gonna look really nice in the morning when the sun comes up too. Yeah. Yeah, look at this, it is gorgeous. Look at this. <laughs> We're completely surrounded, beautiful little islands, just a perfect piece of paradise. Absolutely gorgeous. So this would be a nice place to spend the night and then I guess tomorrow we'll decide if we want to go check out uh, Rio Diablo, back to Nargana, maybe get some stuff done. But so far it's looking pretty attractive here to just hang out and spend the night. So that's what we're going to do. I think we'll set up our chairs and hammock and chill. There you go. <laughs> Somebody's in a hurry, don't drop the phone. Three, two, one, island attack! Woo! <laughs> Almost lost swimsuit too. Uh oh. Uh oh. With the iPhone X. <laughs> we have a water baby on board. Early morning sunshine at Coco Bandadas, San Blas. It's about just after seven o'clock now. The sun's just come up over the horizon there, just getting a little higher in the sky. Just listening to the sights and the sounds. Some of the kunas get into action for their day on the islands also. Very nice, just hear the waves crashing on the reef. The birds in the trees. The boat gently rocking, as you can see. Very nice way to wake up, spend the morning. Your Tiki chirping away down below, wants to come out and talk to her buddies. Track of the forest through the trees, forgot what I was chasing. Spent so many nights living out at sea that my heart is gone vacant. And everybody who was close to me all stayed on dry land. So now I'm driving back on in the state west. I just gotta feel something. Not gonna wait till the morning because something's gonna change my mind. 
He says to come over Well the whole damn town Has been waiting for the day When you would come back here There was dancing and talking And steaks on the grill And I think that I will be alright And my ex from high school Still looks just the same as she did Back in 2009 Not gonna wait till the morning Let's never put the night on night Never put the night on ice Friends for another year I would walk away from the spotlight 